Dean Lacey, join the channel here over on Subscribe Star Rumble Odyssey or Pichu. So Harry Potter is a book that came out, a series of books that came out over 10 years ago. They were huge, huge hits. I think it was seven books. The movies were also big hits and they got this weird cult following. It, if I had to say, was that kind of the last, was it uh, seven books and I don't know, five movies or something? It feels like that was kind of the last mega hit. Um, it's been like that way for over 10 years and I'm kind of looking at like, what does the future hold? And I don't see anything on the horizon because it's, it's been like 15 years. Um, it got this weird cult following that all died it, it, pretty much instantly when the left essentially left the writer of the books behind JK Rowling, who herself was a, um, you know, we would have called her some left wing whack job. Uh, she said that men are not women. Uh, she was a left winger who was, you know, pushing cultural Bolshevism, but then that got far enough and she wanted off this ride. She wanted the train to stop and train kept her rolling because there are no brakes on this downhill in the snow. It's like step on, pour on the coal, rolling straight to Sodom. There are going to be millions of salt pillars before all this is over. So there was a huge BLT movement, I think about 2015. That's when I noticed it as a, as a boomer on Instagram and whatnot. So it was probably building up, percolating, uh, building up before that. And I, I mean, it'd be interesting to track, track that down and see. see. Um, I, th I remember like some pop star, oh, this that Miley Cyrus came out and said she's like, this was, I think, before 2015. She said she's pan or something. And, and back in our day, we just called it, oh, so bye you're you're bye they know i'm pan isn't that the same thing yeah but i need attention so this is a, a way to get that's what it feels like i mean can we can we be 100 about this anyway so there was a huge blt movement that happened about then unfortunately the audience overlap for the harry potter movies was heavily invested in the blt stuff because it's just kids who want attention it's like you're, you're going through fads in, in from 2015 to current year, I mean, you realize like this stuff has probably been going on for t for 10 years. You know, <laughs> wonder if there's going to be some people who are perhaps sort of looking at their earlier decisions and wondering if they could have gone on a different pathway. In our day, our fads were not so permanent. Um, they were I, I don't even remember what was like pins on your jackets and whatever. It was stuff that you know stuff that washed off, and then later on, tattoos became a fad. And it's not a fad. It's, yeah, it's it's a fad, and it's kind of dumb. Um, so uh, they were all like, all the kids who were in this were all like trans Hufflepuff or something. It was all like first world problems. And I think they just, they thought that Harry, uh, Jerry, J.K. Rowling was going to be on board with it because she was a left wing chick. And I suspect in a few years when people are going hungry from the, uh, the famines and the pestilence, that nobody is going to be worrying about pronouns. <laughs> I think that is all going to go away when uh, when you're literally in the midst of civil war. So J.K. says, hey, men shouldn't be in women's bathrooms or in snuggle, struggle. Sorry to use that terminology, but it's YouTube. Healthcare clinics or shelters, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so suddenly, and the thing is, when women are going to those shelters and they're saying like, hey, why is there uh, why are there men uh, who are like the nurses in the in-care people facility? And um, the, the, the rule at the shelters is that the women, the victims if they ask that, are told that these are women and the victims are kicked out. That's all really happening. Yeah, no wonder the left left the uh, the left wing behind. So suddenly she became an enemy of the people for saying that men are, are not women. And these perfectly healthy, well-adjusted people literally went to her house to do a little stochastic terrorism and to make threats against her. So that ended the excitement for Harry Potter because these brainwashed kids running Bolshevik propaganda think that this all this Frankfurt School nonsense is real. It's not. The goal is to lower your birth rates and to destroy the nation by harming yourself. I'm, you know, very carefully choosing my words here, which it has been very successful at. Hey, we're going to have like a changing room at schools and you don't have to tell your parents, trust me, your teacher. Uh, vote harder. You'll just vote harder next time. So they think JK is the real danger to their worldview. The lady who writes silly books and says that men are not women. Yeah, she's she's the existential threat. She's the red herring that you should all focus on. This this woman who writes books. Don't get me wrong, she's an excellent writer. I mean, she wrote books that even adults could, uh, you could read them as well as your kids and grandkids. 
Not any other issues in the world, just focus on the woman who writes hurty words on Twitter about men not being women. Stay distracted, cattle. So that pretty much ended Harry Potter, which was over anyway. It was a decade old. It had its run. It's a case of the left. You know, it did much better than um, Lucas's Star Wars or even Disney Star Wars or even Lord of the Rings. Because, I mean, Lord of the Rings was for an older audience. So it was kind of a, like Harry Potter was poised to perfectly come around and scoop up the audience of, shoot, I don't know, like eight years and over Maybe because books were coming out, seven books were coming out over how many years, um, it got a, it just swooped up this huge, huge audience. And uh, even, I mean, the books, the books were fantastic. She did a great job writing those books and she just built this, snowballed this audience. And, you know, it's like she didn't come out and talk about, you know, use, yikes, my guy, bad take. You're using your platform to hurt the marginalized and oppressed. The women, the women who were victims of stroke. No, no, no. The men. You're hurting the, the the men. Okay, great. Accelerate it. Accelerate it. If you're on this end of the spectrum, by all means, there's no there's no turning around. You have to accelerate it to go through it. So, um, yeah, the left eating in its own, when the older generations discover that the younger generations have multi-generational brainwashing from government schools and globalist media to contend with, older generations are looking at kids today, and it seems like the kids forgot how to think, that they're overly emotional. They have Bolshevik media teachings as sort of a religious dogma. The government schools and media taught them what to think. Our generations were taught how to think. We could have disagreements without being disagreeable. These people, these kids are the participation trophy generation. In my day, in logic and debate, you learned that you had to argue both sides of an issue. If you didn't know your opponent's argument and you didn't know your own, you should know the flaws in your own argument. But if you offer a rebuttal to many of these kids or young, young adults, they immediately go into emotional response. They don't stop to think about anything. It's all just pure emotion. So, so yes, they're going to redo Harry Potter and the characters will be trans. Probably all the characters will be trans. I'm sure Harry, so Harry Potter, I don't know, would be a, like a, a female identifying trans, is that what they call it? Um, and probably they'll probably swap out all the characters for whatever they want. I mean, just they'll make it as just whatever. I mean, it's, you know, like, like even the left wing's not going to see this stuff. The first movies were riding off the strength of the books. So the energy, if you come out with a show now, the energy is not there anymore. And it's like they're going to, the energy, they'll try to craft a vibe. I'm sure it'll be all like trans and, you know, BLT and POC and all this kind of stuff. So the, the energy will be like, we're going to own Harry, um, J.K. Rowling by making this new series and it's going to be, you know, whatever woke propaganda we want to put into it. But that's not like that revenge kind of energy is not the energy of the original books. Like you're never going to come anything close to those original books. So it'll just be like BLT propaganda and everybody knows it. So the excitement isn't there anymore. It'll probably be a streaming show, which is where shows go to die. I don't remember who owns oh, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers. Okay, so Warner Brothers is HBO, so it'll go, I guess, there to stream. Um, streaming shows, streaming platforms is just where shows go to die. And by the time this comes out in like, you know, three years, uh, like they may have, re they may start rethinking streaming and, and discover like, ah, the big screen is really where we're getting, um, we're getting not just the money for the shows, but you get the budgets to make shows that start, that create a following where streaming shows are are not the same type of vibe. So they might want to start rethinking. Like, if you let big screens go out of business, well, you you destroy that infrastructure and then it's it's easier to maintain the infrastructure, you know, the also, also tiresome meme, than to have to recraft it from the start. And look what they did to Star Wars. There's just like a half a dozen Star Mando and Bubba Fett and uh, uh, that guy from the Disney, the, the, the Lucas prequels, uh, uh uh, uh, Obi-Wan or something, um, and or there's uh, like a bunch of Star Wars shows that nobody's heard of. They did an interview with the, the writers for Andor, and, and they were they said they were surprised that it was they they felt they were they were kind of swimming uphill. They thought, oh, we're, we're Disney Star Wars. We've got a show out. It should be, <clears throat> you know, people should be knocking down the door and like they didn't have an audience for Andor. Well, he well, one Disney destroyed the brand. They destroyed the brand with Dis the Disney Star Wars trilogy. And then Solo, and then they fired Gina Carano, and after that, it's like, yeah, you don't have an audience. And then I, I watched Andor. It wasn't very good. Nothing coming from Disney is very good. Um, anyway, I'm losing my voice now. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next episode.